We're in the National League, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how we get on, shall we? Hello everyone and welcome to episode 19 of our Maidstone United save and the beginning of season 3, our first in the National League. Um, before we get going today, I would just like to say I've been doing this for a few weeks now, the whole YouTube thing. Um, still learning, still getting used to the recording and the editing and creating thumbnails, etc. Um, but I'm loving it. I'm I'm really enjoying doing it. I've still, I'm literally getting like two views a video, maybe three views a video. Um, but I would just like to say thank you to those people that are watching. Um, even if it is only one or two people watching an episode, thank you. Even if one or two people watch this episode, thank you so much. You don't know how much it means to me. And thank you to the couple of people that have subscribed to the channel. Um, it means a lot. It may not be hundreds and thousands of people watching, but if a couple of people are watching, then it means that I'm not just sitting here talking to myself. Um, so thank you. Thank you again. Um, and as you may see from today's episode, I've actually put a bit more work into creating the thumbnails. I've been practicing trying to learn how to do it. So today's thumbnail is different to the others. The others were quite boring, all set in the same sort of like... They were exactly the same, just with a number changed, really. So I spent a little bit more time, and I've created a de a, what I think is a decent thumbnail for today's episode, and which will continue going forward. Um, right, that's enough about me and the channel. It's been an extremely busy summer. Um, I think we've had, is it 15 players leave? Um, something like that. I can't remember how many players have left, but there's loads that have left. Loads that have come in. We let um, Bradley Green, Gallagher, Binham Williams, Odesanya and Korn go on free transfers. All the ones that were out of contract during last season, we just set them for release. I was going to offer Sam Korn a new contract, but he's two stars. Two star ability, current ability and I think potential ability as well. So he wasn't going to be good enough for this league. I was going to give him a contract basically in thanks for what he did for us last season. But he would only sign if he was considered a star player. So he went. Um, and then we also let Walters, McGlynn, Zito, Curran, Clark and Lovett go when their contracts expired at the end of June. Um, and then Luque went to Albacete in Spain. And Mooney, as you already knew, was going to the New Saints TNS in Wales. So... That was all the players that have left. Regan Booty has signed a new contract. Um, where is he? Our captain, our team leader. He signed the new contract, but there is a, a lower um, minimum re fee release clause. He signed a new contract. We had players coming in for him. Uh, we had an offer from Wimbledon for something like 36000 something like that. He had a minimum fee release clause of 83000 or 82000 at the time. Offered him a new contract. He signed it, but the condition was that his minimum fee release clause was dropped to 67000 And that he will match the highest earner clause now. Which could be a problem going forward. But he was our best player last season. He was player of the year. He was, other than uh, Jack Barham scoring goals for fun, Regan Booty was the instigator of us getting promotion. So we had to we had to keep him on board, really. Transfers, uh, we've got a couple there that are still um, ongoing. But the ones that have gone through, I think if we start at the end, I think some will be on the end of last season. Yes, some of them are on the end of last season. Danny Amos, our new record signing for £50,000. Coming from Port Vale. He's a left back. Can play wing back. Uh, we needed better quality on the left. Um, on the left back, Sam Hill's contract had expired. Ben and Williams left. We had nobody else. Um, like I said, came from Port Vale. Played quite a few games at League Two. Played ten games at League One for him. Before that, he had played in the national for Hartlepool, Northern Premier League for Buxton. Made three appearances for Doncaster in League One. So he's got league league experience. He's only 23 years old. 
Um, so I didn't mind breaking the bank for him and paying our record fee. Ben Dempsey has come in on a free transfer, central midfielder. He's going to be a fringe player. Um, he came in, he was our second signing. I just knew that we would need to bring in um, backup players. We couldn't start, uh, couldn't sign all star players or starting players. <clears throat> He's coming from Charlton. Um, made one one appearance in League One for him. Before that, he was on loan at Woking. Played it for Dulwich Hamlet. Even played in the Skybet Championship. Made four appearances in the Championship in the 2019-20 season for Charlton. So again, another player with a lot of league or a little bit of league experience. Naughty Naughty, who basically I signed for the name. <laughs> I saw him come up on the scout report. I scouted him and I thought, oh, he'll be a naughty, naughty player to have. So we signed him and he's going to be naughty, naughty. It might not be pronounced like that. It's probably like naughty, naughty or naughty or something like that. But he's naughty, naughty to me. Uh, Free star box to box midfielder who is a natural at DM or central midfield. And he's also competent anywhere in defence. So he's going to be a good utility man. And he's maybe unconvincing, but he's got his little dots there. Anywhere in the midfield, on the left, right, attacking or whatever. So he's going to be a good player to have around the team. Um, and then Martin Svidersky come in. Hang on, I didn't look at Naughty Naughty's career, did I? Sorry, let's go back there quickly. He came in from Carlisle. 35 appearances for Carlisle in League 2, two seasons ago. Started it all at Chelsea. Spent a lot of time on loan at Vanarama National sides. So he's made over 100 appearances at this level. Then he went on to play for Queen of the South in the Scottish Championship. And then he played at League Two. So again, a player with plenty of experience. He's 28, I believe. Um, Martin Svidersky is a player that we've looked at several times. Ball winning midfielder, three and a half star current ability, five star potential, 20 years old. I've had to consider him an important player, but another one who can play centre midfield, DM, can cover at left back. Started at Presov in Slovakia before moving to Man United. Hasn't made an appearance for Manchester United, but he. Yeah, he hasn't. I don't think he made a single. Oh, hang on. 2021 22, non competitive 25 appearances. So I presume that's for the under 23s. Um, but he's come to us on a free transfer. Lots of ability. Um, could be a brilliant addition to the side. Then we extended. James Carragher's loan. He's not on there. Oh, he's, he is on there. Um, that's the loan from last season. But we've got him back on loan until the end of this season as well. So he needs no introduction. Teddy Howe came in next. Free transfer. Right back. Three and a half star. Current ability. Can play right back. But full back or wing. Wing back. Decent pace. Plenty of natural fitness. He's determined. Um, crossing of 10 should be good enough for this division. 24 years old. Another one who's been playing in the league. League one for Blackpool. Made a couple of appearances last season. 12 appearances for Scunthorpe um, in the 2020-21 season in Skybet League 2. Made an appearance for a Reading in the Championship back in 2018-19. So, another player who's been playing at a level higher than what we've got. Lucas Tomlinson, another free transfer that's come in as a fringe player. Can cover anywhere in the attack, except for up front. He's down as a winger, um, decent pace. Not much in the way of potential. But... Another one who has played in the league for Bristol Rovers and plenty of appearances at this level. 
20 appearances for Wildstone last season. James Morris came in from Kettering for £7,500. He's a left back and he's come in as a squad player. He's come in as backup to Danny Amos at the left back position. Another one with decent pace, an exciting young prospect. Like I said, came in from Kettering, played 36 times for Kettering in the Vanarama North last season with a 6.91. All right, this is a level above. He was at the Premier. He was in the Premier League with Southampton and Watford without making an appearance, or a league appearance for them. Odell Afire is next. Odell Afire, a Nigerian, capped at under twenty three level for his country. Breakthrough prospect, twenty years old, five star ability, plenty of pace, plenty of acceleration. Right back. Well, he's accomplished as a right back, a centre back defensive midfield and a natural in the centre of midfield. But this is saying with regards to his star rating, that his best position is probably fullback. And with those pace and acceleration and stuff, I'd probably consider trying to retrain him as a winger. But that is for another day. Um, Troy Chiabi, Chiabi is another free transfer who's come in. Striker, Zambian striker, breakthrough prospect. Isn't going to set the world on fire with two stars. But he's got decent potential ability and he will probably be happy just to sit on the bench. Get a couple of minutes here and there as backup to Jack Barham. And Josh Flanagan has come in on loan from Northampton. He's another left back who is accomplished, or he's a natural, sorry, he's accomplished as a left back. He's a central defender, a natural central defender, six foot two, um, decent positioning, compassable. He's not going to, um, again, he's probably not going to start straight off. He's only a squad player. I do really need to look at possibly bringing in another couple. Our squad is a bit thin, um, considering... I've got it written down. I've brought in what two, four, six, eight. So I've brought in eleven players. Got rid of two, four, six, eight, ten, ten, thirteen. So we haven't brought in a lot less. But we seem to be a little bit lighter than we were last season. Like up front, Jack Barham is only considered a two and a half star rating, a fairly good rating for the senior team. He scored a lot of goals last season. I've brought Kiabi or Chiabi in as backup to him, who's only 20 years old. I'm looking at bringing in maybe like a four-star striker to try and get the goals to fire us towards at least surviving relegation this season. Um, if we look, we're probably okay on the wings. We've got Deacon, Byrne who can play on either side. And then we've got Tomlinson, who can cover as backup. Um, maybe one more who can cover both sides. Midfield, we're okay. We've got Booty, Swiderski, Phillips, Naughty Naughty, and Dempsey. But central defence, I'm probably going to need to start Michael Phillips as a defender. And then... Um, Svidersky as the defensive midfielder because I haven't got any real decent ability in the centre of defence um, even. Loads of competition on the right, loads of competition on the left, even though Regan Booty is still considered our best left back and Michael Phillips is our second best right back. Um, Amos will be, will be our regular left back, although he is injured, I think, for the first game. I'm not 100% sure if he's back yet, but he did pick up an injury. Um, if we look at the players that are still being looked at, Cade Craig has been offered a contract on a free transfer. He's a six foot two central defender with brilliant heading, marking, tackling. Um, he does have other, other bids in for him, though. Then we've got... Um, Campton Sturridge, who's currently at Aston Villa, he's on a, available on a free. We've offered him a contract. 
He's a striker. And Marvellous, I'm not going to try and pronounce that surname. Marvellous is his name. And I'm hoping that he's marvellous if he signs because he's an Italian. We're waiting on a work permit decision. He's agreed to, He's agreed to come to us. He made two appearances for Walsall in his time. But he can play striker anywhere on the wings. We did have another couple of players, actually. We had... Um, I'm not sure if it's going to show... No, it doesn't show the ones that we fouled on. So, if I type them in... Uh, Mubiamba. Xavier Mubiamba. Mubiamba. Dutch, 21-year-old, centre-back. Six foot four. I didn't need to scout him the whole way because once I'd seen this... Acceleration up to 16, natural fitness, pace, heading. Um, at Chelsea. Offered him a contract. He accepted the contract. Agreed to sign. And then he didn't get a work permit. Which I can't quite, I can't, can't quite understand because he's been at Chelsea for the last four years. So I thought under the age of 21, if you've been at a, club for longer than three years or whatever you became a homegrown player obviously not um, and that deal couldn't happen because of that and we had another one as well um, there's Anne I can't remember his first name now um, it was Anderson don't think it was him uh, it's that one. Edwin. Edwin Anderson. He's currently on trial with Crystal Palace. Another one. Anywhere across the attack, he can play up front. Acceleration, determination, great finishing. Another one who was at Chelsea. Came over from Gothenburg. Another one exactly the same. Agreed. Agreed conditions. Agreed a contract. Fouled his work permit. Um, Anderson actually wanted to sign for us. Um, even after failing his work permit, but um, I'm not going to sign a player who hasn't got a work permit and can't play for us. So we didn't. So you've seen our squad depth, you've seen our new signings, you've seen the players that have, or you've heard the players that have gone. So we're ready for the league. We're ready for the National League. And the prediction, the season preview, says that we're predicted to finish 12th. Which, to be perfectly honest with you, I'd take at this stage. Um, a 12th place finish in our first season in the Vanarama National League would be a brilliant, brilliant finish. We, um, Our club vision wants us to avoid relegation. Remember it said before, fight bravely against relegation. Now it says avoid relegation. Um, so a 12th place finish would be brilliant. But the top two, the teams that have predicted to finish top two, Wrexham and Stockport. We played both of them last season. We lost, but only by a goal both times. So we've got a really good chance this season, I think, of possibly pushing for the playoffs. But we'll have to wait and see. And the team to start our National League season at home to Eastleigh is a completely different looking one to the one that we had last season, except for in those areas. Um, Parks in goal. Howe. Um, Teddy Howe will play it right back. Like I said, Michael Phillips is going to be the no-nonsense centre-back. Carragher and James Morris will play as the left-back because Danny Amos is injured. Um, he will be back training within a week. Um, I was going to start with Trotman after last season, but Howe's considered a much better player. So our first game, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, defensive midfielder Svidersky. Regan Booty is going to play as a central midfielder. I played him as a box-to-box -box most of last season, but on star rating, he's better as a central midfielder. And naughty naughty, he's better as a box-to-box. -box. And then we've got Burn, Deacon and Barham, our attacking three. Rory Deacon, incidentally, signed a new contract. If you remember, he wouldn't sign one before, um, but he signed a new contract on less money. 
And if you see on the bench, Brad House just signed a new contract as well. He was our number one goalkeeper last season, or that was what his contract said. He wanted that again, but eventually signed as a backup. So two of our important players for last season remain at the club. Um, it's a much changed side, though, like I said. Uh, Trotman and Beach, the only other two players that were here last season. Outside of what's in the squad and Brad House, I've already mentioned. Um, on the bench, is House, Afire, Tomlinson, Dempsey and Kiabi. Um, didn't sort out the... Um, Squad numbers before. Let me just do that. I do. I'm going to play exactly the same way we played last season. Um, the custom counter attack, positive, and just see how it works. Um, I'm not going to just change it all up. Obviously, I've changed most of the players, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm not not thinking we're going to set the world on fire in this division. I'm not thinking we're going to walk through teams, but there, Booty could have then scored a goal. Um, I'm not thinking we're going to do what we did last season, where we totally annihilated teams at, at some at some points. Yeah, we had our bits where we were a little bit um, short of quality last season, and there's Bar and being short of quality this season, but. Our aim is to avoid relegation. If we can manage that, I'll be happy. Um, so I'm hoping to get a decent start to the season and push on from there. But I know it's going to be tough. I'm not. I'm not in any way thinking that we're going to go on the sort of runs that we went on last season, where we went seven, eight, nine, ten games winning or more and running away with the league. Because that ain't going to happen this season. Um, we're going to probably be in a relegation battle. Is Howe with a lovely run down the right-hand side. And Deacon has put the ball over the bar. Fantastic run from our fullback. And we are on top in this game. There's Booty in. Swiderski to Phillips. And Phillips... Can you get a pass in here? He's going to try and find that killer ball. And there's Naughty Naughty. Is he going to have a shot? And he does. And another one that's close. Um, I think that's Joe Ellel playing for Maidstone. Uh, not for Maidstone. We're Maidstone. Playing for Eastley. Um, yeah. Ellel on the left on the left of defence for Eastley. Um, the one whose name I could never say. And I said I probably won't have to say it again. Well, we're on top. We've had 14 shots, but only one on target. That's not ideal, especially the fact that Barham scored 60-odd goals last season. Only managing one shot on target from 14 shots. At this level, we need to be taking... We need to be hitting the target more. Our XG is 1.07 to their 0.1. We've had more possession. So we've been the better team. But our shooting's not been good enough. We'll tell them that, and hopefully they can improve it in the second half. Let's change that back to us. Forgot who we were for a second. Um, I'll give Barham another few minutes to see if he can do anything, but he's only on a 6.4 at the moment. Um, so let's take him off, actually. Let's, he's not doing much. And there, Maybe he isn't going to be anywhere near the player that he was last season. Anyone else needing to come off at the minute? No, everyone's playing relatively okay. Rory Deacon, only a 6.5. So I could give Tomlinson his debut. He plays best as a winger. Yeah, let's bring Tomlinson on as well. Um, we'll change him to a winger on attack. Confirm those changes. And see if they make a blind bit of difference. Um, 
There's a foul. We've got a free kick in what could be a dangerous position here. His booty lining up. And another one that's missed the target. Morris has taken a knock. Great, because our first our first choice left back missed the first game of the season injured. And on the first game of the season, our backups got injured as well. And Regan Booty has now put the ball over. Let's encourage everyone. Let's take Morris off here. Um, fire is the only option. And they've hit the post. They've hit the post. I thought, I thought that it was going to be um, a smash and grab victory for Eastley. But they hit the post. Um, we haven't really done anything to suggest we're going to outdo ourselves with regards a relegation battle. But there you go. Oh, no. The new boy Chiabi, Chiabi could have won us the game there, but a fantastic save from their keeper. His booty with a corner. It's gone out for a throw in, but I think that was our chance. I think that was I think that was definitely our chance. Although Booty's put it in here and no, there's Elul clearing away. Svidersky, can he find Booty again? He does. And another one. And Kiabi, this time he has scored. First goal of the season. Troy Chiabi on his debut. Get in. And that is 1-0 in injury time in our first game of the National League. Svidersky picked Booty out again. Booty in. Chiabi, nice little dinky header. past the goalkeeper and... That is a win to start our National League season. And we made it tough for ourselves with all the shots off target. Um, 23 shots, fr only three on target. And next year, 1.92. But we were the better team the whole game. When they got that chance where they dinked it over and it hit the post, if that had gone in, um, we would have been very hard done by it and we, we would have deserved to be. But we've picked out... Or Booty's picked out a lovely little cross. Chiabi with a nice little dinky header into the net. And right at the death, we've picked up a well-deserved win to start the season. And I'm going to say well done, lads. That was a good win for us. And that's three points from one game. We are unbeaten in the National League. Um, we'll have a look at the schedule and I won't leave it too long. We'll um we'll be back in a few in a few games to see how we're getting on. Um until then we actually won a game. We won our first game in the National League, hundred percent record, unbeaten, and it was a fully deserved win as well. Thank you very much for watching that episode. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a like, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.